another beautiful day. Hello, creators. A mm. couple things on my agenda for today is, well, working on video from yesterday. I am, I have a conference call at noon. <clears throat> then later on today, I am photo shoot at Eccles Miners Village. And it's like near Drums, Pennsylvania. <clears throat> so that should be fun. That's around like 5 p.m. Working with the Chelsea's. They're wonderful models. The great, great people. Very nice. Very professional. Um, but in order for that to really happen, I need to run out into the woods with my pruners, get some branches and stuff just for some props and whatnot that I need. So I'm pretty excited. Finally going to be shooting with the uh, skeleton masks. And the hoods, <laughs> and uh, oh, what else? So much. I have to ship stuff out today. Oh, so stay tuned. It's gonna be, it's, oof, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm here with Debbie. Say hi, Debbie. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Debbie. I live in Greentown, Pennsylvania, and. Um, my family and I, especially when the kids were younger growing up, we did a lot of hiking and backpacking and would come across really cool things in the woods. And I, as an artist, began painting on them. And I'd like to share some ideas with you. Um, you and your family um, just have some fun with painting on stream stones, river rocks in some areas. It just depends where you live. And um, we could do some fun projects together. I look forward to that. Just wrap things up with Debbie. Oh, I'm so excited. That's going to be such a fun course where parents can, you know, go on a hike with their children and find, you know, uh, the perfect river stone and then take that home. And then there they'll be able to paint all kinds of scenes on top of it, whether it's like animals or whether it's just the landscape. And it's going to be, oh, it's going to be so, it's going to be so much fun. Just a parent and uh, child activity together. Really quality time. I got my epoxy. Here's how I make the uh, the teeth look all enameled and glossy. It's this quick five minute epoxy, so I gotta move quick. And you only wanna get it just on like the highlighted part. You don't necessarily wanna get it in like the, the cracks of the teeth. So what I do is I just get it a little bit and just kind of pat it on there. Pat it on there. You don't want to smear it because then that's when it'll seep into the cracks. But just personally, I don't want it in the cracks, but if you do, do it up. Like I said before, you got to move fast. I already feel it warming up. You know, once it gets warm, that's when it hardens, when it cures its heat. Okay, so I'm in the process of finishing my diamond skull. The only thing I have left to do, I have to, no, oh, you see that screw? That's what attaches the mandible to the skull itself. So I just have to Conceal that with some more of these diamonds, the little amount of diamonds that I have left in here. Oh my god, it's been over like 11,000 diamonds. Swarovski crystals. Oh. Dental pick with some like uh, tack on the end of it, like a tack putty. It's great because it just you just poke the crystals. Oh yeah, this is old tack now. That's why. It's been a while. Got to keep it fresh. You just poke it, get it, and place it. I got one done. Now it's time to do the other. Just 
just finishing up a banner. I have a Oddities Expo coming up, so it'd be nice to have a banner. So I gotta email this out today, son, and uh, hopefully have it by the end of the week. I have this idea for like a prop. Since I'll be shooting in a, like an old miner village that's like a historical site, so it's very old, it's very uh, early century, turn of the century, whatever. Um, beautiful city, beautiful. Oh my God, it's a little town. Oh, I can't wait. But um, so what I want to do essentially is have like twigs over the uh, the models like these, like just branches, like wood over the, the model shoulders like she's holding and then spiraling down from the ends will be like a cluster of skulls and bones and stuff so it should be good here's how i'm doing it though so pretty much i just ran outside pruned some branches pruned some uh like little trees or whatever and then have them here and then what i plan on doing is uh getting my metal wire and then just kind of wrapping it around at certain points probably do like a three point center and then the sides uh well and then maybe like the the far outsides as well just so it's um like uh, wrapped together almost Alright, so I'm here with Chelsea. We are at the Eccles Miners Village. So tell me a little bit about this place. So Eccles Miners Village was founded in the late 1800s. Um, it was a company town, which meant if you worked in the coal mines here, you lived here. You couldn't live here unless you worked in the coal mines. Um, it dates back to when they would mine underground for coal, uh, not the later strip mining. And uh, when you lived here, it was all self-sufficient. You had your post office and company store. Everything you needed was here. And you were also self-sufficient. You raised your own animals and planted your own vegetables. Do people live here currently? Uh, yes, there's actually a few houses here that are um, lived in. Uh, only a few of them are able to be lived in. Uh, you, there's actually a waiting list through the state that you can get on if you'd like to live here. Um, most people that lived here have lived here for years. You don't have to be a descendant or anything like that. Um, and then when you live here, you can, the insides are totally modern. It's just certain things about the outside that you have to keep with the uh, historical uh, impression of the village. Can't put like a couch on your front porch or anything like that. So. It's like a homeowner's association. Yeah. And uh, that's what happens when the buildings just sit, they fall apart. Oh my God. <laughs> you can see the difference between that and then the one that was restored. Uh, this area of the village, uh, a couple decades ago, Paramount Pictures came here to film the movie. Uh, Richard Harris, aka Dumbledore, and Sean Connery, aka James Bond, were in this movie. It was about the Molly Maguires, and uh, the Molly Maguires were kind of a outlaw band of Irishmen in coal country. There's, if you want to do your own research on that, it's a really interesting story. But when they filmed the movie, they built a few fake things here, and that is a prop, that coal breaker right there. That's why it's falling apart. <laughs> they originally wanted to burn it down at the end of the movie and they said, oh, let's keep it. So it's been here for over 40 years. This railroad you see is fake. And then if you turn right here, this is a fake company store. The company store would have been where they would buy their, uh, you know, dry goods, uh, clothing, supplies. The men had to provide their own mining supplies, so they would buy their own mining supplies here. Uh, but this was built as part of the movie. The real company store was down the road a little further. <coughs> this right here is the uh, Episcopal Church in Eccle Miners Village. Uh, the fun story about this one is that this original church that was on this foundation fell into disrepair. And then it just so happens that down the road, about five to seven miles away in another town, a twin to this church was built. So after this church crumbled, they moved that church five to seven miles up the road, set it on this foundation. 
And this is not the original church, but it's a twin to the original church. So, just a fun fact. <laughs> All right, here we are at the last location of uh, the shoot for today. It's getting a little too dark and a little extra rainy. So, oh my God, I just love how this wood grin, look at this. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's just kind of bursting through whatever paint was on it, whatever stain. Got this kind of in the background. Oh, wonderful location. Good shoot today. So let's get to it. Let's get this last shot. Yeah.